Quaker. Please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. L'audience est ouverte. This morning, we received a request from the two defense teams. Ce matin, les deux équipes de regarding défense the time allocation for these ont soumis une demande concernant le temps qui leur est imparti pour interroger cet expert. And we granted a request. La Chambre a fait droit à la demande. However, that would be extended only for today's session through 4.30 and likewise the same thing for 4.30 tomorrow afternoon. De demain, that is the limitation of the grant. Voilà. The floor is now given to Nunti's defense to put questions to this défense. expert. You may proceed. Maintenant à la défense de Nunchia. Vous avez la parole. Thank you, Mr. Mr. President. We are quite grateful for the extra half hour Merci, uh, that we're having. Le Président, de cette um, I, I will try to sp accord. speed as much as I can with my questions uh, to the expert. En interrogeant um, expert. Good afternoon, Mr. Short. Bonjour, Mr. Short. You have gathered by now that I am the International Counsel for New Nunchia. Uh, uh, like I said, although I have many questions for you on the things that you have been testifying about uh, today and yesterday, I, I do feel I need to go back um, to the very beginning in, where you, in which you were telling about your background, academic background, and your professional début, career. I do have a few questions uh, on that, if you don't mind. Um, I understand that you've been a foreign correspondent in China, in, in Beijing. Uh, which other places in the world have you been a correspondent for the BBC? For the BBC. And in which other countries have you Jouer ce rôle de correspondant étranger. I worked for the BBC in Africa, pour la BBC en uh, Afrique, then in Moscow, et ensuite à Moscou, then in Beijing, suivi de Beijing, then in Paris, finally in Tokyo à Paris and Washington. Et enfin à Tokyo et à Washington. So Moscow and Beijing Question. were the cities uh, at that time uh, Donc, in, in, in former communist countries. À l'époque, lorsque vous étiez à Moscou et à Beijing, c'était dans les pays communistes. Réponse oui. Question pendant combien de temps êtes-vous resté à Moscou et à Beijing? I was in Moscow for three years, from the beginning of 1974 to the end, the very end of 1976. Then, in 1977. I went to Beijing and left Beijing late in 1981. You said something uh, two days ago about your academic background. If I understood correctly, you studied sciences and English literature. Uh, am I correct in saying that you are not a a, a historian in the, in the academic sense, you're not a scholar of history. You are correct. I have had no formal academic training as a history professor or a history lecturer. Uh, as is true of many other historians. Professor or conférencier en histoire, c'est le cas d'ailleurs de nombreux autres historiens. Let me be more specific. Uh, you are not an academic scholar. Pour être plus précis, uh, in the sense of uh, being an expert, an academic expert in expert, uh, communism, uh, socialism, etc. For instance, like people, uh, people like uh, David Priestland or, or Archie Brown or Steve Heder, for that matter. I am not, and I would not pretend to be, uh, nor would I wish to be. But I'm not here, Mr. Short. <laughs> Um, have, have you have you ever published 
In question, avez-vous uh, academic magazines or journals été, in respect of uh, uh, the, the theoretical revues, uh, foundations uh, of communism? Universitaire ou académique, des articles concernant uh, le communisme et ses fondements? I have been asked to peer review Réponse. articles for academic journals on, on that subject. Uh, I must say I have pairs, uh, found most uh, of them not very good, revues, but I have not written myself. I must say that for the most part, I have not been very impressed. I myself have not And is it fair to say that Question. what you have written uh, on matters in respect of communism, communism would be your two books, one nous avons vos deux livres, la biographie de Mao et la biographie de Pol Pot. Est-ce exact? That is not entirely correct. My first Réponse, book on communism was a comparison of the Chinese system after Mao and the Soviet system after Khrushchev, Khrushchev. Uh, after Stalin. Uh, uh, it was called The Dragon and the Bear, and it was uh, a comparison bear, of how those two communist systems evolved after the principal leaders had disappeared, après la and Khrushchev on the one hand and Deng Xiaoping on the other had taken their place. And in the sources of your knowledge Question. leading up to those respective books, Et Was that mainly gathered livres, uh, during your foreign correspondence uh, for the BBC in those cities? Is it based on information that you have gathered while you were in post as a correspondent stranger in those two villes? Yes, I think that would be true. Réponse, um, uh, oui, je crois uh, peut dire cela. A, a, a reading of the Soviet press, of the academic literature, um, also of uh, Russian uh, studies, because uh, I read Russian. Également, uh, uh, in China, it was much more Russe, uh, uh, Russe, a study uh, because the system Chine, after Mao was evolving le at the time I was there. Uh, it was much more a matter of to the observation of what I saw, uh, uh, the way that the, the communist apparatus changed rather than archival resources. Thank you. Um, now let me turn to, uh, to, to Cambodia. Um, if I understand it correctly, you have not been in Cambodia or DK before 1975. Is that correct? That is correct, yes. You have testified earlier that you have in the DK period tried to, to get a visa to visit uh, the country, but you were unsuccessful in that respect. Have you visited Cambodia between 75 and the moment in 1999 or 2000 when you started your research uh, for the book that we've been discussing today and yesterday? Votre livre dont nous parlons depuis deux jours. Yes, I came to Cambodia in 19, I think 1991. Uh, you will correct me as to the exact date, but it was shortly at the, around the time that the Prince Sihanouk returned from Beijing, and I spent, uh, I think, about three weeks here at that time. But that was in respect of your correspondentship, or was it? Mais c'était dans le no, cadre de votre poste de correspondant étranger. Réponse inaudible. Micro non And before allumé. 1999, when you, when you came here to start researching for your book, lorsque vous êtes um, venu ici pour have you done any uh, faire des recherches pour votre livre, other research in Cambodia or outside Cambodia, uh, or is it really 1999 as a first moment that you were thinking and, 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 and writing about Cambodia? Is it really 1999 as a first moment that you were thinking and writing about Cambodia? 
1999 was, was the beginning. I spent about, about five years from 1999 to 2004 working full time. I, I was not doing anything else. When I was in Beijing in the 1970s, uh, I followed events in DK extremely closely. It was the best place, apart from, perhaps from Bangkok, but it was at least a privileged uh, a viewpoint because the Chinese were the closest un allies. Um, there were people in Beijing who knew probably better than anyone uh, else what was going on in DK. You just um, testified that you Question. speak Russian. Vous venez de nous dire Do que you vous speak Khmer? Le le Khmer? Réponse sans micro. Uh, no, I do not. Réponse, non. Uh, sadly, Je ne le there are pas. limits to the number of languages one can learn. Uh, il y a des limites au nombre de langues qu'on puisse apprendre. Indeed. Um, Question, en effet. But did you, when you were writing or, or researching your Mais book, uh, find out a handicap not being able votre to speak livre or understand yourself directly the Khmer language? Un handicap pour vous de ne pas savoir parler ni comprendre In some cases, of course. Uh, in others, no, because Q uh, Sampan, for example, uh, Ying Sari speak very good French, so we converse in French, this was, was not a problem. That I, that I understand. Um, I'm asking you this question for the following reason, not speaking Khmer, um, not really having been able to um, study in depth uh, Khmer culture, etc. before 1999. Um, notwithstanding that, you make quite, in your book at least, um, if I may phrase it like this, sweeping statements about the Khmer culture or the Khmer uh, behavior. You call the Khmer uh, lazy, uh, you, call, you say that they are having inferiority complexes. Um, you use the Theravada Buddhism as a, as a, as a, as a source for explanation. What did you feel that I see uh, my learned friend stand. Uh, Mr. President, uh, Le President, Mr. Expert, uh, please wait the prosecution. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. Parole. President. Uh, we object. That was a sweeping statement President, uh, seeking to clarify, la defense elle -même seeking fait to characterize. Mr. Short's work is, 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 is consisting of sweeping Short statements. The way this, these questions should be posed is by taking into specific portions of his book so that we can all look at uh, the relevant extracts and then they can put, be put to the, to the expert and, and questions can be asked. So we object to this form of question. I understand, Mr. President, the technical objection, but I, I, I just try to speed up things. I mean, we've all read it, and I'm sure Mr. Short knows that he wrote it, and my point is to speed up and ask him about it, and not necessarily ask him what he actually wrote that, because he knows he wrote it, asking how he was dealing with the fact that he has written that, and what was his ideas behind it due to his lack of knowledge of certain things Quelles in my les idées derrière ce qu'il a écrit, uh, vu que, à mon avis, il uh, n'avait pas les connaissances pour. President, the opposition and ground Le by the prosecution de is valid that sustained. The experts, you do not need to respond to the last question put to you by Nunchi's defense. Council for Nunchi, you instructed to focus your questions on the 11 facts that are being processed before this court. 
euh, devant cette chambre. Well, Mr. President, I, I will rephrase the question. Um, La défense. Très bien, Monsieur le Président, je vais reformuler ma question. Has your research made you conclude Est-ce que, d'après vos recherches, in general, the Khmer vous êtes parvenu à la conclusion que, de façon générale, les Vietnam. Khmer avaient un complexe d'infériorité par rapport au Vietnam I think, uh, I, I honestly can't remember whether I used the term inferiority complex. I possibly did. Si j'ai employé um, le terme complexe d'infériorité ou pas, it il is se peut que je l'ai employé. The il est certain peculiar que c'est une façon de décrire that historically has cette been Cambodia's vis-à-vis its two much more powerful neighbors. Uh, as a point of fact, so that we, we, we don't make sweeping, sweeping statements in, in uh, your, your term, uh, I certainly have not said the Khmer people uh, were lazy. That is not anything I've written. I've quoted others uh, who took that uh, view, uh, uh, and I have said je, je there were ways of interpreting this. Uh, doing only as much work as you needed to live uh, can be laziness to some, uh, uh, but wisdom to others. Que besoin pour survivre et peut-être la paresse pour certains. That is, that is correct. You have used others to, to bring about that, that, uh, that point. Vous, vous êtes appuyé sur um, uh, les propos d'autres personnes but pour expliquer ce point. Have I understand your book that you si bien, uh, try votre livre, also to make a point with the laziness um, in respect of DK policy? Uh, it was very difficult for DK leadership uh, en lien to move um, uh, the, the Khmer people in general to, faire, to, to, to work. Uh, to the people Khmer to work, to push them to work. They certainly felt that, the DK leadership. En tout cas, uh, les dirigeants du camp Pouchia démocratique en avaient le sentiment. Ils auraient pu employer d'autres moyens uh, pour y arriver. Et ils ont And yes, I think they, they did feel that it was very difficult to get this country moving. And that is part of the explanation uh, for the very harsh methods which they chose to use. Les très dures qu'ils ont choisi. Let me, let me uh, move on, Mr. Short. Uh, there are more important points. Um, when you started researching vous avez your book, vos uh, pour votre livre, there was already quite a bulk il of, uh, déjà of literature. Uh, people had written un assez about de uh, the DK period. In the period avaient déjà up, écrit uh, sur la du camp de démocratique et um, ses antécédents. Would you be able now today to name, if we limit ourselves to three, to three important things that you have Est-ce que aujourd'hui vous êtes en mesure um, discovered on basis on the basis of your research de, uh, that hadn't already been put forward or argued by uh, scholars like Kiernan, Chandler, Heder, etc. Is there Heder any, any et, uh, anything in your book you say, well, that is something uh, that I have livre, established based on my own research that others hadn't done that, I hadn't done before? découvert dans le cadre de vos recherches et que d'autres ne l'avaient pas encore soulevé. With, with no difficulty at all. Uh, you mentioned Chandler and Heder. We don't want to get into a scholarly argument, but I disagree with a great deal of what Kiernan wrote. Uh, it was an early attempt, and in my view was, in many respects, totally misguided. Chandler, um, a very sound work, 
but uh, again it was early and there are whole sections, whole segments where basically in uh, his book he says we don't know what happened, we don't know where Pol Pot was at this time, what he was doing. Well, in my book, because I went to talk to uh, former Khmer Rouge leaders and officials, those gaps are filled in. We now know where he was, what he was doing. Uh, we don't know what he was thinking necessarily, but a lot of what he was saying and writing throughout the period uh, we're talking about. And please remember, my, my book is not a history of DK, it is a biography of Pol Pot. It's about Pol Pot's life. Uh, another aspect which has been written uh, about a great deal since, but had not been written at that time, is the, we discussed this morning, uh, the influence of Buddhism on the form taken by Cambodian communism. Yet Yet another is the form taken by the study sessions, uh, the, uh, the, the, the motivation for the poli this egalitarian policy which the, the, the Khmer Rouge in, in, uh, endeavored to impose. That had not been written about in, in anything remotely like that kind of detail because none of those concerned on the Khmer Rouge side had spoken. The, the fundamental difference between my work and that which had preceded it was that uh, the, the great majority uh, of the books before had been, had been uh, written from sources other than the Khmer Rouge themselves. And I endeavored to base my book on an understanding of their mentality, what they were going for. I understand your answer, Question. Mr. Short. Um, you oppose the view on certain aspects uh, of, of, of Ben Kieran. Uh, you, you say many things developed Kieran, since, since Chandler wrote his last book. Um, but would you be able, on the basis of your interviews, or your discovery of new documentary material, just to give one, two, maybe three really pertinent examples of things that are your uh, discovery. Well, I thought I just did, but if you want Réponse. more specific things, uh, the uh, Pol Pot's discussions with Mao in Beijing in 1975, no text had ever been made available in any other, well, in any language, because in China it was uh, uh, a secret text in the archives, it hadn't been published anywhere else. Um, the whole period of Pol Pot's stay in Ratanakiri and indeed at Office 100. Et very little had appeared about that until uh, I talked to Ying Sari about it, um, and then other Yen sources Sari. filled in gaps. Puis, uh, um, sources qui ont you're les, you're les asking me to pick needles Faites out of a very, you know, there is, <laughs> there is an enormous amount in that book which non, had not non, appeared before. Non, I claim no special une, merit, but it is a fact. Go further on that. You, me you mentioned uh, speaking to, uh, to Ying Sari. Um, other people have spoken to him as well. Uh, Steve Hedder, for instance, has spoken Steve to him. But you also testified that both Khe Son Pan and Ying Sari were not very inclined to speak um, about post-75 uh, events. You've also described uh, Yang Sari as, um, in your book as, as manipulative and devious. What made you conclude that whatever he had said was really something new? Or never been said before? était euh, réellement quelque chose de nouveau ou qu'il n'avait jamais dit auparavant. That which is new is by definition that which has not appeared before. What, what further est proof of newness, newness are, are you asking me to give you? If it hasn't appeared before, and remember again, we talked this morning about chronology. Avant. Yes, On others have talked to Yang Sari, oui, not before Yang Sari. me. Mais pas avant I, I moi. was the first to interview him at length. And again, no spec. We're talking about 2000. 
the, um, the war, uh, you know, the last guerrilla movements ended in 1999. Um, I may be wrong, but my, uh, my impression is that he had not, at that time, started to discuss with others in any detail um, the things which we talked about about the early, the early periods of the movement. Let me try it from, an, from another angle, if you, if you allow me, Mr. Short. Would you be able to tell if you had fundamentally different insights in the functioning or working of DK other than Chanter, Heather, or Kierman? Avez-vous euh, découvert euh, des, une perspective fondamentalement différente par rapport à celle de Chandler ou de Kiernan I think that is for the reader to judge. Réponse. It's not for the Je author to say, the writer to say, uh, you've never seen anything like this before. Dire, It's voilà you put your book out there, the work of, the, the, your work of research. Livre. And it is then uh, up to readers to uh, say, oh, livre, I've read all that travail, ten times before, or, or ça, no, that's new, I didn't alors, know that, nouveau, that's interesting. Pas, um, I, I think you're, you're, you're asking me something which I am not the best person to judge. Of course, I think that juger. there are Bien many sûr, things which are new, that there is an interpretation which is new, and certainly which is much fuller than has appeared before, but I am not the one to say so. Do you know if Chandler, Keenan, or Heather have ever reviewed your book? Whether they ever read a, uh, wrote a um, lu votre the word? Livre um, à des fins de ou de le, je exactly. le mot. Thank you. Inaudible de la part de l'expert. Both uh, David Chandler Réponse and Steve Heller were David kind Chandler enough Steve to read Heather the complete text before it was published. Um, you're going to embarrass me. Chandler said it was a masterpiece gênant. which Chandler Steve Heather should have written but had not done so. Steve and uh, uh, Steve, uh, uh, Steve uh, without making any general comments, sans faire de um, uh, général, picked out various things uh, which he objected to. But was not in fundamental disagreement on any point. Stephen Heder and I disagree fundamentally, uh, and it came out in his comments over whether, whether the Khmer Rouge revolution was more Cambodian or more communist. It's an old argument, and that was our point of, uh, of uh, disconnection. Now, since you've raised it, have you been able to? incorporate in your donc, work Steve Hedder's book um, titled Cambodian Communism and the Vietnamese Hader Model. Sur, uh, le et le I think I'm right Réponse. in saying that came out Je crois afterwards. When, when was it published? Après le mien. I think en it was année? published in the same year as your book. I didn't see it. I I don't think so. Non, je, je he he also non. produced a, a book about seven candidates for prosecution. Um, la, that uh, I did have, I think, yes, I had poursuite. that before, uh, um, ça, oui, je but not the other one. Mais je pas livre. I'm, I'm asking you this because in the foreword to that Question. very same book of Steve Heder. Uh, the foreword is by David Chandler. It has been written in 1970, uh, sorry, 19, uh, no, no, excuse me, 2003. Um, so apparently David Chandler had a uh, manuscript of that book. Did you have, before finishing your book, a manuscript of Steve Heder's book? No, I didn't. I, I gave him non, mine to read. He obviously je didn't give me his. Le mien, mais il ne pas soumis le sien, apparemment. As you, as you, as you said, um, uh, you know, as, as we agreed, Steve Hedder is, is an important scholar on, 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 on uh, Cambodian communism. Have you read his book, Cambodian? 
avez-vous lu son livre plus tard et est-ce que c'est sur la base de ce livre que vous avez trouvé d'autres éclairages concernant l'idéologie Khmer Rouge Réponse. I honestly cannot tell Honnêtement, you. We are je talking about if I read it, I would have read it when it was published, si and that's lu, now eight or nine years ago. Après la publication, um, il y a I have ans. been deeply involved in other subjects since. Sur Might I be pilotes. permitted to make one remark additionally? Um, Steve Heather and Steve others Heder like him, David Chandler, lui, uh, David Chandler, and for a time Ben Kiernan, devoted their Kiernan entire energy and lives uh, to studying Cambodia. It's a narrow focus which goes very deeply into one subject. My qualifications are different. Looked at and lived under communist systems in Russia and China, which they have not. I've tried to understand many different systems, cultures in different parts of the world. That provides a very different perspective for looking at what happened here to the the. the The, the focus of an academic who works only on that subject. I'm, I'm not saying one is better, one is worse. They are different. Just, Mr. Short, trying to establish whether after the publication of your book you have um, read Stephen Heather's book or you have been able to study it. I can only repeat my answer. I can only repeat my answer. I have no recollection of reading it. I may have read it, but it's not something which stuck in my mind. I believe, and the prosecutor will correct me if I'm wrong, um, Steve Heder is being qualified as the world's leading scholar on Cambodian communist. You have been testifying as an expert Vous today and yesterday en tant uh, about the ideology of the Khmer Rouge and Khmer what, Rouge what they were about. Et leur finalité. Now, doesn't it seem strange to you that you've been giving this testimony without having read Vous the leading book sans of the leading scholar on Cambodian communism? Du principal spécialiste mondial du communisme cambodgien, n'est-ce pas étrange? I'm not here uh, simply to regurgitate or to reflect uh, the views of another scholar, and I would agree with you, uh, Steve Heder probably is the, leading, the world's leading scholar on Cambodian communism. Um, that does not mean we are in a... Uh, Academic debate is, is where truth is uh, established. One may study a subject and draw conclusions, one is not obliged to read the interpretation of someone else. As I say, I may well have done so. I simply don't remember. It's nearly 10 years ago. I've read maybe a thousand books since on different subjects. You're asking me something which is long ago. Okay, Mr. Short, I will be returning to, to Heather's book uh, shortly. Um, I have a few other questions to you. Um, on a few occasions, today and yesterday, you've been speaking about um, the secrecy of the Khmer Rouge, um, almost as, a, as it was an obsession. The secrecy. You've been Presque speaking about Munchia, about the opaque master of secrecy, etc. Et et Did that in any way form a handicap in trying to find out what really a un happened or what was really in the minds, as you put it, of the Khmer Rouge leaders? Dans la tête des dirigeants Khmer Rouge, pour reprendre Yang vos Sarri propos. Speak, uh, Yang Sarri n'a pas parlé de la période period. de 1975, les autres How did that hinder you in, donc, in, in, in nevertheless vue, making que the conclusions that you have been uh, taking or making today and yesterday? Dans quelle mesure est-ce que cela vous a gêné au moment de tirer les conclusions que vous avez présentées aujourd'hui hier? Uh, 
Yang Suri and, and Q Sampan, I said they were reticent. It, it was Sari not a subject they wished to be expansive on, but both of them gave answers uh, uh, on, on certain questions about that period. Um, the, the secrecy issue, I thought, and I believe, is was Je pense an important part of the modus operandi of the Khmer Rouge. It was not unique to them. Uh, the Vietnamese communists used communists code words, code names, des uh, cryptés, des uh, to a considerable extent, a little less than in, in Cambodia. The Chinese much less. Uh, moins. But uh, this, this was part of, of, of the DK Ceci and CPK system. So du I, du I, I, it du wasn't a handicap as such. What was Cela a handicap uh, was, en, I, I wouldn't call it secrecy, um, but people's reluctance, secret, understandably, to speak about uh, highly contentious issues. You know, the right polémiques. to keep silent, the right not to speak. Le droit de uh, I can't silence, force de ne pas people to say what they don't existe. want to say. I Je can merely try to draw them out Je peux and essayer uh, de les faire parler. draw lessons from what, what they do say. Et de tirer certaines leçons de ce qu'ils finissent par dire. If you allow me, uh, Mr. Short, to, to approach it from another angle. Prenons les choses d'un autre point de vue. The goal of your research and your book, as you have testified today, was Votre to livre, vos recherches, try to grasp dit, the mindset of the DK leaders, des dirigeants uh, du camp de Chagas. To try to understand Vous why they did uh, uh, what they did. Pourquoi ils ont fait ce qu'ils ont fait. Very ambitious project. C'est un projet très ambitieux. Uh, on the one hand. Uh, part, on the other hand, one can part, conclude that you have not been able to speak to Pol Pot. Que vous pas you have pu not been able to speak to Nguyen Chia. You have not been able to speak to any other members of the Standing Committee or so, uh, 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 other than uh, Yang Sari and Kyo Sampan. You have said yourself uh, on numerous occasions that you are doubting reprises, the things that Kyo Sampan have been saying to you or that he has been uh, writing in his book. Yang Sari, you were calling a devious, manipulative man. Yang Sari, you said that he was a fool and manipulative. I'm not sure as to how many mid-level cadres Je you have been speaking. I'm not sure how many cadres of rang intermediaire you have been speaking. What makes you conclude that you have actually achieved this Comment very ambitious Goal of the book that you really, you really cet objectif très ambitieux, uh, know what was in the mind of Pol Pot when he made decision X, Y, or Z. De Pol Pot lorsqu'il prenait telle ou telle décision. Any biographer who pretends to know what is in the mind of his subject uh, is deluding himself. Se berce a biography is an attempt to get close to a personality. De se rapprocher Now, personnalité. at the time at which I was writing, Alors, à uh, où which was just after the end of the, of the guerrilla war, à la fin uh, de la I think I got as close as anyone could reasonably hope to do. Approcher but surely, uh, que, it's like any book, possible, an inadequate attempt. Mais comme uh, and I, I say that not as a self-criticism, but it's the nature of writing biography. Que je m'adresse à moi-même, mais c'est lié à la nature même de la rédaction de biographie. Now, Mr. Short, now I'm, I'm completely agreeing with you. Je um, vous rejoins tout à fait. But maybe I wasn't listening correctly, but I haven't been écouté, hearing this reservation about uh, events or thoughts of, of leaders earlier. Are, are you saying, auparavant. let me refer, let me give one example. Je vais You've un exemple. been calling Nguyen and Chia uh, avez dit que the Chia alter ego, était uh, as ego if I remember correctly, of Pol Pot. Pol Pot si je me souviens bien. We all agree you didn't speak to any of nous them. Tous we all agree that you were parlé never there uh, when they spoke to each other. I ensemble. think we can agree that you Je never spoke to anybody who was vous ne vous êtes uh, on that particular topic, who was present when they were speaking. Des gens qui en What make you, made you say that they that donc, was in fact the alter ego uh, of Pol Pot? Or dire que would it be fair to say that it might be the case, or that you think it was, on rather than that it actually was. Plutôt que de dire que c'était effectivement le cas. 
I think uh, we would have to go back to the transcript, Il but I have frequently used the, the words souvent, my understanding is uh, l'expression ma compréhension des choses et uh, que answers, ou des expressions équivalentes. Uh, uh, Paul Pot pour ce qui est the alter ego one of the other. Paul Pot uh, était l'alter ego de Nuncha et inversement, I did with je me suis fondé cadres, sur des entretiens who, avec des cadres de niveau intermédiaire exactly avec qui j'ai discuté assez abondamment de cette relation entre les deux personnes. Ce sont des gens qui avaient eu des them, contacts directs avec uh, les deux. Not, I'm sure, together, but Pas who had, ensemble, who were in je suis sûr, mais qui étaient en mesure de formuler un jugement correct ou non concernant leurs interactions. Et c'est en appuyant là-dessus que j'ai dit que d'après ma compréhension des choses, Pol Pot, ou plutôt Nguyen Chia, était dans un certain sens l'alter ego de Pol Pot. Merci pour cette réponse. Si, effectivement, introducing every answer to the question uh, with words it is my understanding or vous aviez dit uh, it could be like this or, or que, ou encore, my il se peut que, understanding of the way that you've been testifying là, is uh, that you were very certain in respect aurais, of certain uh, events or thoughts pas or policies que vous étiez certain from, de certaines from politiques decay, ou uh, pensées period. is it en rapport avec le Fair kombucha to démocratique. En répondant aux questions, vous vouliez exposer votre compréhension des choses It's my speculations, maybe sometimes it's my votre conclusion hypothèse, sometimes. votre I would conclusion. Really like to have clarification on, on, on that issue. Est-ce bien le cas J'aimerais que vous précisiez. Le Président. President, Monsieur l'expert, vous voyez la parole the prosecution, you may proceed. Your Honour, we object again. The, the, the question nouveau, is, is extremely wide Cette and vague. Est extrêmement uh, large et flou. If, again, and I, and I repeat my objection from earlier, Je if specific statements si can be put to the expert, if he can be asked whether in relation to those specific statements, uh, he is certain or, or on he drew an inference, si en uh, that is entirely si appropriate. But to be asking him now to Mais qualify the last two and a half days of evidence de, de, as, um, as, as matters on which he is not dit certain, deux jours et demi certain is, 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 is improper. Pas sûr. Uh, he will simply not elicit helpful evidence for the chamber. Cela ne permettrait pas à la Chambre d'obtenir des informations. Mr. Mr. President, I will, I, will, I will be more specific, Je although I have to say... Mr. Short is not a witness of Même a si certain event. Mr. Short, Short is an expert, a very intelligent expert, événement, I might add. He is perfectly capable of, of, of making of understanding a general question. Let me à même be very specific. Um, on numerous occasions, à de nombreuses occasions, you have testified about a policy vous avez in respect of uh, the treatment of Lonol soldiers and Lonol officials. You have stated that there was a policy basically uh, to execute them uh, once uh, captured. Une fois été and um, well, I can get these specific quotes for you, but I'm, I'm sure you remember saying vous that. Les citations pertinentes, mais je suis certain que vous and my question vous to you is, is when you say, Voici when you have been testifying that, is, is that based vous on... Avez dit cela. Est-ce que vous vous fondiez sur des preuves suffisantes that you conclude something to your understanding? Ou bien, s'agit-il de votre compréhension des choses et de vos propres conclusions? J'aimerais que vous répondiez précisément. You have just given a, an example where it is not opinion, Dans it is not exemple, uh, interpretation, ce opinion, it is fact. Une interprétation, mais ce sont we des know faits. that uh, Lonol soldiers que les soldats above a certain rank, de uh, unless they were able to dissimulate rang, their rank, and we know that uh, high officials, uh, again, unless they were able to dissimulate, aussi, uh, par were des fonctionnaires executed. À moins qu'ils aient pu um, dissimuler leur rang, nous savons donc qu'ils ont été exécutés. Il y a des uh, témoignages effect, abondants dans ce sens. Um, the, some of the statements from uh, the Khmer Rouge themselves, Il y a des déclarations uh, faites par les Khmer Rouge um, eux-mêmes qui en témoignent. I 
would have to go back to my si book or my electronic notes and tell you exactly where it came from, but you are as capable as I of seeing the sourcing. Sources, mais um, vous aussi bien que moi what, ces the sources. point I would like to make, and I understand what, what you were driving at Je earlier, vous en venir. no one can know for certain mais what is in anyone else's head, what their thoughts qui are. Dans uh, my book is based on Mon livre, uh, my judgment I would say judgments jugement, rather than interpretations or conclusions are based on what was said livre se fonde uh, sur either in documents or in documents interviews ou au by those I spoke to. Avec les personnes que j'ai rencontrées. Although I'm, 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 I'm getting ahead of my of my of the subject that I had in mind. You're saying there's abundant testimony about the execution policy of Roman soldiers. There's even Khmer Rouge fighters were saying that. Let, let us take one example. Rouge, uh, you've been uh, writing that about that in your book. You've been an answering questions from the bench and from the prosecution. The execution of Roman soldiers in Udon in 1974. What is the concrete evidence, what are, the, what are your sources concrètes, that in fact Lonel soldiers pour dire or officials que les were ou les executed de as a result of an implemented policy? Ont été exécutés dans le cadre de la mise en œuvre d'une politique.
President. Le Président. Let now we uh, resume the proceeding again. Les débats Council for Mr. Nunchi, please repeat your last question Maître, so that the expert can respond. La dernière question. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. The, the, the expert uh, remembers the question because I think, Mr. Short, you are now looking for the Je sources, vois, Short, que vous um, les sources of your earlier testimony that, in fact, the execution of Lone Null soldiers was a result de of a policy. Le fruit um, I, I, I have no problem whatsoever to have you read Je or, again, what were your sources. Convenient à ce que vous nous indiquiez qu'elles étaient vos sources. Yes, I thought I would take advantage of the break to refresh my memory. Je voulais profiter de la pause um, the principal source was Pipoun. Um, there is also American testimony, Diac, uh, William Wilfred Diac's book. Le livre de uh, I, Diac. I note that there's a, a reference to reality cambodgienne and uh, another, another and also uh, talking to villagers. Et il y a aussi now, des entretiens which avec one of those sources specifically refers to uh, the uh, execution of the non null soldiers? which is what you're interested in. Des soldats de uh, this, you know, la question qui 12 years afterwards, I'm afraid I can't be very helpful. Um, Pipun certainly talked, we discussed Pipun at some length, uh, the policy of ex executing captured soldiers. Um, so les soldats I, I would feel fairly certain that at least some of that information came from him. Une partie de ces informations vient de lui. What have you done Question. to double check if Pipun was somebody si on a level to Pipun actually know about his policy or to actually have been pour there si to rang de Pipun What have you done lui to de connaître cette do politique. to research this American military fait historian, Mr. Uh, pour vérifier ce que disait that he was in fact, that he was in fact right what he has been saying in his book. Et pour vérifier you're not only, Mr. Short, an, 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 Short, an author, you're also a correspondent, you're also a journalist with the BBC. Vous êtes aussi I might add one of the most renowned institutions BBC, in the world. Qui est une des institutions les you plus know, de la planète. also as a journalist, what it is to en tant check que journaliste, vous savez ce que cela veut dire de vérifier, de revérifier ces sources. Where did they have it, and were they even in the position pour voir uh, to say something about policy, or in a, a, a voir si elles actual sont executions bien placées in this particular matter in Udon in 1974? En les what have you done qui ont eu lieu à Udon to 14? convince yourself that the sources that you were using were in fact in accordance with the truth? Conforme à la vérité. Réponse. Biography, like politics, Tout comme is the la art politique, of the la biographie, c'est l'art de l'impossible. Check, you verify that On your information is consistent que ces with other information. Concorde avec d'autres informations. Uh, a biographer is not, or a historian, Mais is not a, un historien a judge in a court of law. N'est pas un juge. The Standards of proof, uh, happily, are, are not the same. Bien heureusement, in this case, uh, Pipun uh, gave me sont his version. I, I quoted three Pipun other sources, or three other sets of sources, because I spoke to more than one villager about this matter. Um, everything was consistent with itself and, and was consistent with. Uh, other accounts uh, with all the other facts about this sort of circumstance that I was able to discover about the Khmer Rouge throughout the, the, the period immediately before they were in power and the period they were in power. So to me, uh, yes, it was fair to make a judgment that this was correct. Donc oui, je pense que j'étais en mesure de poser le jugement comme quoi ces informations étaient exactes. Let me, let me, if you allow me, Mr. Shaw, take it to a, 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 a next level. What was it Passons au niveau suivant. that Pipun said to you Parmi 
les choses que vous a dites Pierre Paul. Qu'est-ce qui vous a fait conclure qu'il existait une politique A-t-il dit qu'il y avait des instructions adressées à tous les commandants comme quoi tous les fonctionnaires et soldats de l'ONOL devaient être exécutés a telegram in which that was uh, uh, put un down. Down. Did he speak about a, a speech of, of Pol Pot or Nguyen Chia to high-ranking cadres where it was discussed? Did he, in any, any other way, say something to you which made you say yes? No doubt, there was a policy of executing lone soldiers. A mené à conclure qu'il y avait indubitablement une politique consistant à exécuter les fonctionnaires et soldats de l'ONOL. Réponse. Uh, unless I'm mistaken, I didn't say si je ne m'abuse, je n'ai pas dit qu'une politique the top. avait été fixée en haut. Peut-être que je What me trompe, was, mais je pense avoir dit que cela s'est passé. Udon, Dans le cas d'Oudong, ces gens ont été they left. exécutés uh, as far as après I'm aware, être partis. This is only my, my what the documentary evidence I've been able to discover. That there was no written document instructing people to execute former long officers and high officials. And high officials. Uh, Pipon himself said when uh, the, the, the first fighting started in Ratanakiri in 1968, it wasn't that there was an instruction. It, was, it followed from the policy that uh, the The, the set of policies uh, which uh, the, the Khmer Rouge were following, de and uh, soldiers Rouge. knew how they were expected to behave. That is not the same as having a policy document read out saying, one, two, three, you shall kill in this way and that way. But the result was the same. Tel tel the result was that même. people in those categories were executed. What were the specific Question. words of Pion Quel mot précis? convincing you that Pipoun every soldier, every Khmer Rouge soldier knew what to do? Convaincu que chaque soldat Khmer Rouge savait ce qu'il leur fallait How faire? did cadres from the northwest zone, for instance, Par exemple, comment les cadres de la zone du in 74, 75, know that whenever they captured Lonol soldiers or officials, they had to be executed? How did they know that? Les what made Pion make you convinced, aha, that's, that's, that's convincing evidence? Quelles sont les preuves convaincantes dont what vous disposez à ce sujet? What convinced me is that it happened Réponse. everywhere. Ce qui me convainc, c'est que cela s'est passé partout. I'm saying, I, I'm unaware of any Comme document, je l'ai dit, je n'ai pas connaissance de l'existence de documents, mais les chefs would de meet zone from time to time when you had congresses or central work conferences or central committee meetings, de du and central, they would go back with their understanding of the policies to be followed. En ayant Now, interprété d'une certaine façon uh, la politique à appliquer. The outcome, uh, the result, le was that and it was followed irregularly. It wasn't absolutely uniform. Not every long, non so, long non soldier was killed, not every high official was killed. But in general, that was the outcome tués, throughout mais Cambodia. En général, cela uh, it's difficult not to uh, make a connection between a centralized policy meeting, central committee meetings, uh, work conferences, exemple, and what is done in the gr on the ground afterwards. Part, But there's no smoking gun, the there's no document which is signed by Nguyen Chia or Pol Pot saying, do this, do that, do the other. Are you now Question. shifting from whatever Pion has been saying to you to what happened before? And if you do, please auparavant. elaborate on where did it happen before. I, I don't have to remind you, Udong was Echeon, 1974. It was way before où cela s'est produit avant. 17 April 1975. Udong where 74, donc avant were there concrete avril 75, examples of this policy apparently being les qui uh, executed by low-ranking cadres? Where in, 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 uh, in uh, Cambodia in 1974 pour les années 73 et 74. My discussion with uh, Pipun uh, 
began with 1968, en, which is very much earlier. And it was put in terms of drawing a clear line of demarcation between ourselves and the enemy. Uh, Udong was a particular instance, which I quoted in my book. Um, April 1975, uh, when Phnom Penh was taken, I would argue there is abundant evidence that the same thing happened again. There is evidence from uh, uh, those, the new people, of uh, what happened to Long Nong soldiers. Um, I, I'm not pretending that I am in a position to tell you exactly what happened in every corner of Cambodia. I'm simply saying from the limited evidence, and it is limited, for, for, for all historians of that period that is available, it's all completely consistent that everywhere where we know what happened, uh, Lon Nol soldiers above a certain level um, were executed and high-ranking officials likewise. With all due respect, Mr. Short, we're still talking about Udong 74. You're shifting back to Pipun again. I still haven't heard concrete facts and circumstances, concrete evidence, which can convince everybody in this court that there was a practice, a policy of executing my You were saying that it happened somewhere else in the country. I haven't heard you giving evidence about that. It's a very serious allegation that before 75 there was such policy. So I'm asking you again, very concretely, what is the evidence making you say there was a policy? Le President, um, expert, please wait the prosecution. You may proceed. Mr. President, I was going to object earlier. I refrained because I thought my friend might move on from the point. The question has been asked and answered about three times. Put to the witness in different terms, answered by him comprehensively. He's given his sources. He's described the process by which he came to the conclusion to which he came. Um, I think this point has been exhausted. Uh, and my friend is simply Je asking the same question over and over again. Insiste trop sur ce point et ne Mr. Fait President, que I agree with question. the last sentence. I am asking it over la and over défense, again. That's because I haven't heard que je ne fais que uh, an answer la which question. is convincing. We're speaking about a very concrete in, uh, incident in 1974 in Odon. We're speaking about sources, and I'm trying to establish, I'm not badgering some witness, I'm trying to establish with this expert what made him write that specific paragraph in the book expert, uh, in, on page 255. That's what we're here for. We're here for sources. La raison pour laquelle il est là, c'est pour établir les sources. The objection and ground for the objection raised by the prosecution to the last question is valid and sustained. Of course, the questions are repetitive and the expert is instructed not to respond. Counsel, please move on. I'm not quite sure if I understand the ruling. We're at a very crucial point, and I'm asking an expert to be specific on his sources and the reliability of the sources. What else should I be doing here? I move on, Mr. Short, to the actual executions in Odong. So I'm moving away from the policy part. You've cited an excerpt from a book. 
Vous avez cité from an American military, un livre military historian. écrit par un historien militaire américain. I've looked at the specific pages. Je me suis référé the à ces pages uh, du what livre que vous citez. What made you say that he, Qu'est-ce qui vous a persuadé what happened in que Udong lui savait ce qui s'est passé à Oudong en 74? Réponse. I gave him as one of a number of sources for Je l'ai cité that lui particular parmi, parmi paragraph. plusieurs sources pour I did not say, uh, and I have absolutely no idea, 12 years later, what is in that book. You've, tard, you've looked at it. Um, I don't have that kind of photographic memory. Livre, um, what de, de uh, the, the fundamental basis for the, the statement that they were, these people were killed Lorsque after leaving Udon was my interview Udon, with Pipun and discussions conversations with villagers. Um, Diak and uh, Reality Cambodienne, I, uh, we, we can check them together and come back to this later. But I, I can only say that in my best judgment, I believe that to be true. You do not have to accept my belief, but that is what I believe to be correct. Would it be fair to say, Question. quoting your early testimony, that what you have been writing about Odong, uh, you deem reliable for a book, but not reliable for this court? Peut-on dire que ce que vous avez écrit sur est suffisamment fiable pour le mettre dans votre livre, mais pas suffisamment fiable pour se prononcer ici dans la chambre? I withdraw the question. La défense, je retire la question. I can continue to, uh, to a, uh, another line of questioning, Mr. President. Uh, I don't know if you would like to take a pause uh, now. Un autre sujet, Monsieur le Président, si vous souhaitez uh, annoncer la pause maintenant. Until you President, you may continue until 3 p.m. Vous pouvez poursuivre jusqu'à 15 heures. Thank you, Mr. President. La défense. Merci, Monsieur le Président. As a matter of, of, of exercise, um, according to the same lines, Mr. Mr. Short, I would like to Mr. Short, read out a quote uh, to you from your book. That is on page 10, livre, first paragraph of your book, English ERN 0039620202, and French ERN 0063946161, page 21 of the French book. It reads as follows. All through the late spring and early summer of 1975, columns of evacuees continued to crisscross the country. Khe Sampan's colleague, Hu Yuan, whose blunt talking had started to infuriate the higher echelons of the leadership, watched an unending procession of city dwellers struggling past the bombed out town of Skun, 50 miles northeast of Phnom Penh at the beginning of May. The sight of their fires burning in the darkness by the roadside haunted him. And then he's been quoted, those people were truly wretched, he told Nuanchia later. Now, I think we can agree, Mrs. Short, that it is not a terribly important passage of your book. But nevertheless, I would just like to ask you about your methodology about using this specific example. Uh, it's something vous, vous de uh, that New Achia has been saying. What, make you, what made you write down this particular Nuitia. passage in your book? Pourquoi avez-vous inclus ce passage dans votre livre? I thought it was significant Réponse, because it's the, virtually the only example I've come across 
of any not senior member of the leadership because Hu Yun was uh, not a senior member, but uh, 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 a member of uh, a group with some influence remonstrating with a top CPK leader. Uh, I, haven't, I didn't come across any other example of this, and you will have seen the source was a series of interviews with Ping Soi, and Ping Soi was with Hu Yun at the time, and uh, Hu Yun told him what he had said to Nguyen Chia. I have, I have uh, seen your, your sources and I've concluded with you that is the only source. And because it's the only source, and because it's about something Nguyen Chia has been saying uh, to Hun Yun, what, makes you, what made you convinced when you wrote it down that your source was in fact telling the events how they happened? that Nguyen Chia did in fact say that. As, as you know, you know, there's one source, people say things all the time. Did you look for corroborating other sources? I think it would have been quite difficult to find a corroborating source. I was very happy to find one source who was, uh, who was able to give that kind of information. I, it was not. Um, the, the, the kind of thing that people say all the time. I spent uh, many hours over a period of, of weeks, and I returned uh, uh, and several visits, months apart, to see Ping Soi. We talked uh, uh, about the time he and Hu Yun spent together in early 1975. Um, I found his account, when, when you talk several times over a a period of months to a person, a and he gives you basically the same la même account, uh, it's, it lends it a certain credibility. Uh, I found it credible too because it, uh, it gelled with everything that I knew about Hu Yun and about his attitude to the radicalism of the Khmer Rouge policy. Um, I had no reason to doubt it, and I have today no reason to doubt it. I'm not saying it hasn't happened. I'm just picking this example, which is, again, not terribly important, but just to, just to, to focus on the way that you have been using sources, also if it's only one source. Did you have a mechanism in place to somehow if it was only one source leading you to a certain conclusion to, to have it double-checked? To, have to find other sources, source, albeit circumstantial, afin to, to de corroborate. Information qui n'était pas uh, que vous ne pouvez pas croiser. Aviez-vous un système pour uh, les vérifier? With respect, that is a very loyally approach. Um, you, you asked earlier, is it reliable for a court of law? You withdrew the question. I haven't been told not to answer. Yes, it is reliable for a court of law, but it was not written with a court of law in mind. That is to say, at this when I wrote my book, this court had not been thought of. Uh, it had been thought of, no steps had been taken towards it. Uh, so um, the, the standard of proof that you, are, you seem to be seeking Speaking, um, is uh, not the standard of proof uh, uh, that uh, uh, I was using in trying to discover the truth as a historian. Um, for a historian, if a source is, appears to be credible, uh, if what he says is completely consistent with every other known fact, and if there is nothing to contradict it, that is uh, prima facie uh, an extremely believable statement. I agree with you, Mr. Short. Um, I'm just asking this question because, and maybe wrongfully so, I get the impression after one day, two days of testimony, that whatever you've been writing in your book is always fully backed by uh, credible and, and, and reliable sources. That's why. I'm, I'm focusing uh, on this particular point. Um, to move on uh, to a sort of last 
Passant. subject of methodology and, and the using ah, use of sources uh, and use of, 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 of earlier uh, books, etc. Et, uh, um, what I'm going to say might upset Alors, some people. Um, certains I'll, 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 I'll try to, dire. To, uh, to, to formulate it as neutral as possible. One could say that before you started writing and researching your book, there was a, a very dominant narrative on about the things that have happened in, in, the, in the DK period. And if and that's the part that might offend certain people, but there seemed to be a very strong uh, Anglo-American French narrative of the events in the DK period. Fortement influencé Now, euh, par euh, une influence anglo-américaine et française. Nous pouvons tous s'accorder que l'American policy en in, DK a été désastreuse. Nous pouvons tous convenir que la politique américaine était catastrophique. Euh, les all Français n'en ont pas fait mieux were all avant and educated in those systems. Mais euh, tous ces spécialistes ont Now, my, étudié. Question, euh, I'm asking you, and maybe it's a difficult question, but I hope you, do, you understand. How were you able to avoid the trap, if I, if I might call it like that, of getting into that dominant Anglo-American French narrative? Vickery calls it the standard total view, I think. What did you do to make sure that you just didn't go in there? Qu'avez-vous fait pour ne pas tomber dans ce piège? I, um, I did not read until I'd got a little way into my research. I didn't read very much uh, that had recherches. been written before. Je, je It is a way of avoiding the preconceptions which other historians, other writers have, uh, have, uh, uh, de have laid down. But your question is, is a very good one. There, there certainly is a standard total formule, view, as uh, Vickery said. Uh, um, I, as I indicated to you, one of the very early writers, Ben Kiernan, uh, I, I found uh, completely complet misguided on many et, points. Uh, um, I, I certainly Kiernan, did not follow either Chandler or Kiernan moments, in the interpretation Kiernan, which I Chandler came to regard as the correct or the best way of interpreting, looking at the DK system. That said, uh, any any narrative. Um, uh, I often say a biography tells you as much about the writer as about the subject. It's an exaggeration, but there is a grain of truth in it. We all interpret things, we all understand things through our own experience. And my experience, as I've told you, has been in, in China, in the Soviet Union, um, uh, much less time in Vietnam, and uh, a certain amount of time here. Uh, but that makes it a different, a different way of interpreting. Um, I, 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 I recognize the, the strength of your question. I, I can't. I can't give you a complete answer because there isn't one. All I can say is I tried and I brought a different perspective to bear than other writers who've been in this field. I understand your 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 answer. Question. But would it, be able, would, would it be possible for you to give you know, concrete examples? Um, of course, you've, you, you've, you've said that you studied the Vietnamese and the Chinese uh, archives. Um, one of the things, for instance, that we, are, we find very lacking is, is, is the input of Chinese or Vietnamese scholars uh, about what happened in the DK period. Did you make serious efforts to, to try to get away from the dominant narrative at, at that time, which is still the dominant narrative, and try to, to, to really get underneath uh, the things? Pour essayer de vraiment creuser les choses en profondeur. One of the problems is that the 
Vietnamese narrative today and the Chinese narrative today is not that different from the Western narrative. It was different in uh, the early 1970s when Mao and the ultra-leftists were in power in Beijing, but that's a time long ago. The, the, the only uh, corrective, if you like, was that I had studied and immersed myself in uh, Chinese politics and in particular in, in that period of the Cultural Revolution and the views that uh, the ultra-left had. So at least I was familiar, I was able to make uh, comparisons and parallels with what happened in a revolution which was not totally dissimilar in another country. And I think perhaps that has, that has been a, a help. Which, which, Mr. Short, is, an, is a nice bridge to my, to my next Question. subject, and that is um, the ideology uh, of the Khmer Rouge. Rouge. Um, I have been hearing your testimony today and yesterday when you were saying that the DK revolution or the DK ideology was something uh, was, was, was sui generis. Um, it was, uh, have you quoted here, as the most radical revolution. Um, leaps forward were made to uh, a, a radical communist state. World's most radical uh, revolution, etc., etc. Would you be able to tell again or to explain again what were the fundamental differences, not in practice, not in the way it was working out, but in, in theory between, on the one hand, the DK ideology, and on the other hand, the Vietnamese communist ideology, the Chinese uh, ideology, and maybe if we even have time, the Russian, the Soviet one. So I'm not, I'm not talking about, you know, low-level cadres executing it wrongly, etc., but the fundamental differences in theory. In the classic Marxist-Leninist model, once a revolution triumphs, and this was the case in China and it was the case in the Soviet Union, most markedly in China, you have a period which Mao described as new democracy, the People's Democratic Dictatorship, where those who are not against us are with us. In other words, it's, it's a broad... Uh, it's a, a temporary, usually, attempt at reconciliation, bringing together all the forces which are not actively hostile to the revolution. The same was true in, uh, after 1917 in, in the Soviet Union. It was a little bit different because there was the war against the white Russians, there was the Western encirclement and so on. Uh, but in, in both, both countries, that was the model. You, you had a period of new democracy uh, where the new regime became established. Then radicalization came later. It happened in China after the Korean War. But Mao's original idea was that there would be a transition period of at least 12 years, uh, during which there would be a new democratic front, and only after that would uh, more, uh, more resolutely communist policies be, be implemented. Uh, there was never any thought of that in democratic Cambodia. That's one major difference. Um, there, there was no attempt to bring together in a common front uh, all those who could be united with. Um, the uh, other really major difference, and we touched on this the other day, was uh, that in China and in, in Russia, proletarian ideology uh, the ideology of the working class was held to be fundamental. Um, Kyu Sampan explained to me uh, 
that in Democratic Campuchia, it was a matter of transforming your mind. And he said, I remember that Pol Pot and Nguyen Chia had, uh, although they were of bourgeois origin, of uh, not poor peasant origin by any means, they transformed their thinking and were, as such, communists and revolutionaries. And that's what everybody else had to do. This is a completely uh, um, <laughs> non-standard uh, in, interpretation or view, uh, vision of, of, of Marxism. It, it goes back, in some respects, uh, uh, to the French Revolution, which was an alliance of peasants and intellectuals, peasants and bourgeoisie. And that's fundamentally what you had in DK. Uh, the Leninist model was, was not followed. On n'a pas suivi le modèle léniniste. Maybe if I could rephr rephrase the question. question. If we Je vais reformuler la question. We'll bring ourselves back to 16 April 1975. So before the si actual taking out of power or liberation of Plan Plan. Juste avant la libération de Plan Plan. What would be the difference in ide ideology or in, or in, in policy or th in, 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 in theory between, on the one hand, Khmer Rouge, and on the other hand, the Vietnamese or the Maoist par or an early Because I still don't see a fundamental difference in theory between, on the one hand, the Khmer Rouge and on the other hand, the Vietnamese or the Chinese. Oh, well, let us take 1949 in China. It's a subject I'm, forgive me for talking about that rather than Vietnam, but it's uh, the subject I am most familiar with. In, uh, by 1948, 1949, huge numbers of junior officials, bourgeois, in uh, the Chiang Kai-shek, that is the nationalist government, as well as most ordinary people, were completely fed up with the venality and corruption of the Chiang Kai-shek regime, and basically welcomed the communists with open arms. It was pretty similar in Phnom Penh. Uh, people thought, ah, at last the war is over, uh, we will all uh, get together. I remember Tun Tun's wife, and she should have known better, he, after all being part of the, of the movement, saying, we all thought we'd go home to Phnom Penh, that I'd make cakes for my parents, and, and it would, life would be normal again. That was the expectation. And it didn't happen. Uh, there was no attempt to unite with those who were outside the na very narrow Khmer Rouge ranks. That is a fundamental difference. You may say it's a difference in practice, but behind the practice there was a difference in, in theory, which is we cannot trust anyone who is not part of our, our core. Mr. Mr. President, I, I see it's 3 o'clock. I, I would like to have some, some, some guidance. Um, President, the time is appropriate for a short break. We will we'll take a 20, 20 minutes break and return at 3.20. Court officer, could you assist the expert during the break? and have him return to the courtroom at 20 past 3. Thank you.